So today we are going to talk about the ultimate video production guide and everything you need to know about how much it's gonna to cost to produce your video. Let's get right into it. My name is Matthew Harris. I am the owner of Blitz Studios. We are a video production company in Cleveland. I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about video productions. I am an expert in the production world and I've worked on projects ranging from as little as $500 to $50,000. So I have learned a thing or two about pricing and what goes into it. Video production pricing can be a little bit tricky because it's not a one size fits all solution. Most of the time we're giving custom quotes to a client based on that specific project and need. So there are a lot of factors that go into the different costs and that's why it's sometimes hard online to find simple answers for how much your video is going to cost. But we're gonna provide some transparency today and break down all of our costs so you know how much a video production company will charge you. Just to start off, there's a couple different factors that affect pricing up front. And so that's definitely going to be one, the length of the video. Is it going to be a 30 second video or a 15 minute short film? The level of production quality. So that kind of includes how many days shooting on location, what kind of crew we need, how much editing time is gonna be required. Also the types of videos can make a difference. I mean, there's a lot of different types of video production services ranging from promotional videos, testimonials, online advertisement, explainer videos, animation videos. So a lot of the pricing can range depending on the type of project. You also need to think about talent and on-camera actors. So is, are you gonna be representing your brand or are you gonna have to hire talent to come in? Obviously that will affect your pricing if you have to hire paid actors or are you just using friends and family? And finally, is the travel and location involved? Do we have to travel on location somewhere? Is it local? Is it out of state? That can oftentimes influence the total cost of a project. The first step in understanding the video production cost of your project is going to be looking at what type of company you're going to hire. Because there's kind of a range of different size production companies and that's definitely going to affect the final cost of the video. For example, kind of at the low end, you could hire a local videographer. This is typically a one man band, not as expensive gear, and the videos are gonna cost less working through a freelancer or a local videographer. The next step is going to be like a small video production company, and these are typically about two to five people in size. They're gonna provide a lot more pre-production services, and they're gonna have faster turnaround times and a little bit better quality. The range of those productions, just as like a promotional video, are probably gonna run you from like two to $10,000 depending on you know how many days shooting and the final output of video and then you start to work your way up to like larger production companies your studio houses and those types of projects and companies are typically starting out at 25 50 hundred thousand dollars and those are more for like national tv advertisement big brand fortune 500 company budget videos and larger production that require 10 20 person crews and they're typically a lot of times outsourcing a lot of their work. So you might have a 10 person crew, but they're hiring a lot of freelancers individually. So that's where those costs are really gonna add up versus the cost will be a lot cheaper hiring like a smaller production company. Cause a lot of those people will just wear multiple hats. So I think it's important like when you're starting out and trying to figure out the cost of your production to figure out what kind of company is going to be the best fit for you. So I think it's having kind of realistic expectations. Now this doesn't necessarily mean cheap cheapest is always the best because a lot of times when you go the cheapest route you pay for what you get and then you're unhappy with the final output of video and you end up paying someone better to do it and it costs you more money in the long run so i think it's really important to kind of find that happy medium of like what my budget is what i can get for it and finding a company that provides enough value and that you like their work and it seems to be a good fit but I would never recommend that going the cheapest is the best route. So breaking down like a promotional video specifically in the pricing, kind of breaking it down, it's going to be the pre-production services. So do you need help with storyboarding, script writing, location planning? Typically production companies will charge you for these services. So that's already going to make up a cost of the budget. Now, depending on what kind of company or organization you are, sometimes it's worth paying for those services. If you don't have like an in-house marketing person or someone that's kind of in control of your brand standards and quality assurance because the 
production company is going to have a lot of experience working with different brands and so they're going to really bring a professional viewpoint to the table it might be worth paying for that than trying to do something that's not in your wheelhouse the next thing that's going to affect the production cost is the on location filming so most of the time video production companies are charging on day rates or half and full day rates and videographers are charging on a per hour basis so like for example for us on the half day rates we bill our pricing depending on the crew size so a half day is good for four hours and you could get a one two three four or five person crew and obviously the price goes up as you add on more crew depending on the scope of work now what kind of influences how many crew members you need is definitely how many interviews you're running um, how big the setup is if we need special equipment involved how many cameras we're running so a lot of those things are going to be a deciding factor on how many people we need on set because sometimes we have to do two things at once like film an interview and go shoot b-roll in a facility so we'll bring multiple people with us so that way we can do things simultaneously and we don't have to do everything in a chronological order and that can actually save you money because then you don't have to buy multiple production days you could just buy one production day with a larger crew and we could knock everything out all in one day typically bigger production companies don't even offer you the half day rate they're just going to bill you on the flat rate for the whole day depending on the crew size and stuff like that so that's also something to keep in mind how many hours you're going to need on location for an example on testimonial videos we might do three or four half day shoots because it's a lot easier to work with our clients customers and their schedule just to set up one per day so we'll go on location film the client do the testimonial get some b-roll of them with our client and then break it down in those half days is a little bit easier so there's kind of ways to work around on what's going to best fit your budget finally is the post-production cost and this is probably going to be the most convoluted aspect of pricing for people that aren't really familiar with the video production process sometimes you might think oh how is this going to take you 30 hours to do but there is a lot that goes into editing a video already from backing up the cards and organizing the files i mean oftentimes we can walk away from a shoot with 500 gigabytes of data or more and so that takes already a couple hours there just to organize and sort through all the footage make sure we have everything backed up double backing up that footage creating the project libraries and then proxying the files and we have to do all that before we even start editing so then once you get into the editing side, there's a lot of post-production things. You know, we're lining up the interviews, we're cutting out the stutters, we're pulling the best sound bites, we're creating those initial timelines that we have worked through with our clients in the pre-production process, and that can take a lot of time. We're also color grading, and so I think that's also an area that clients kind of forget about, is that video production requires a lot of color grading, and it's a very technical skill that is not something you can do quickly you're fine tuning a lot of colors you're making a lot of minor adjustments to make sure the video looks good and that skin tones are calibrated highlights aren't blown out the shadows look good and we'll go back through even when we have a final video and we'll still make final tweaks right before we send it to the client so it's kind of like we're always working towards the best grade and that often adds a lot of time even just searching for music we really take a lot of time in making sure we're finding the right song for the video and that it matches the overall theme of the video and then once you get the music in there you have to cut to the flow of the music so it's really making sure that you're cutting on the music beats and that the b-roll flows well and that it's all kind of a cohesive flowing video that's engaging and professional for the audience you also have to think about client re-edits. That's really important for us because we wanna make sure that you guys like the video and that you have a chance to add your input. So a lot of times we have to budget a certain amount of time for the client re-edits. So that can often influence the cost depending on the amount of re-edits and how difficult the project is. Now that you understand what goes into the production pricing, I wanna give you some tips on how to get the biggest bang for your buck. So number one is obviously going to be research and finding the right videographer or video production company for your project. You know, if you're a medium-sized business or even a little bit larger, I would recommend starting with that medium-sized two to five people production company. I mean, if you're like a small business or a startup, oftentimes a videographer is gonna be the best fit. And obviously if you're a large Fortune 500 company, the bigger production houses are going to be the best fit so once you're doing some research make sure you google and find some local video production companies and take a look at their work i definitely recommend finding someone local or regional because it makes the process a lot easier in terms of lowering your travel costs having someone local to talk to and uh, just supporting the local economy and local creators too is something that i recommend and i think you'll end up getting a better quality 
because they know the area, they know the economy, and they can kind of position your video that way. I would also, once you're narrowing down the search, definitely look at their reviews and their referrals. Make sure you find someone that has, you know, Google My Business with plenty of reviews, especially specific to the type of project you're working on. Obviously, if it's a videographer and all the reviews are weddings, they might not be the best fit for a company promotional video and vice versa. Um, so definitely do that due diligence. Make sure they have good reviews. Make sure the reviews are legit. That's not just their friends leaving them and that they kind of align with the type of project you're working on. The third tip I'm gonna give is get multiple quotes. Don't be afraid to reach out to more than one company. Get multiple quotes. See who you like talking to on the phone. Who's the one asking you questions? Who's the one trying to understand your product or your video needs? And they really compare and contrast. And don't be afraid to negotiate. A lot of times with production companies, you know, they're a small business. So there is some level of negotiating there. Tip number four is going to be check out their work. Um, definitely checking out their work is super important to make sure that the quality is there, that they have good lighting techniques, they have good composition, good audio, good camera movements, that their videos are edited and shot with purpose. And it's not just someone coming in and setting up cameras and hitting record. You definitely wanna make sure that when looking at your brand and your brand image, that the type of productions that they're doing could be on that level or even better. The last tip is communication and communication is key and it's definitely a two-way street. A lot of times with videographers, they can be a little bit flaky and hard to reach. So make sure you find someone that is prompt with their communication, that sends you a statement of work that gets you a proposal and that they answer your questions, but they also ask questions. So definitely trying to find companies that kind of fit your brand strategy and that communicate that with you is in turn gonna produce a lot better video in the end. So I hope this video helps you understand video production pricing and that you have a better understanding of the cost that goes into video production and pricing. It can definitely be a little intimidating and all over the map. We have put a link on our website that breaks down sample pricing for different types of projects. So even if you needed to get a reference, I've attached a link in the description below. If you like this video, I'd love it. If you hit that subscribe button, if you hit that like button and we'll keep more video production tips coming. Feel free to leave comments if you have questions about either how to quote projects or how to get quotes for projects. I'm happy to answer uh, any questions you might have.